G'day guys, welcome back. It's resin day and I'm gonna have another go at some bling coasters. So this was one that I did recently. Really, really love this one. It has like a creamy white background and then it's got um, gold and silver and like a, a rose gold through the center. So I'm gonna do something similar but I want to do two shades of blue, like light blue and then dark blue. And then in the center have some dark blue in the center and then coming out to silver. So that's what I've got in my mind. We'll see if I can do that, hey? So um, I thought I would try these two colors together. This is um, Jacquard Pearl X Sky Blue. And then this is like a baby blue. It's called Baby and it's by Pixie Dust Pigments. So those two. And depending on what this one looks like, I may add a little bit of this pearl just for a shimmer. Because I know the Pearl X does shimmer. And this is a Pearl X as well. But I didn't have a Pearl X in that colour, so we'll see what happens. So I've made up um, 100 grams of A and 43 grams of B. And it's this one, the Platinum 360 Plus resin. So, and I've just divided it into two cups. So I'm going to do one with a dark blue, one with a light blue. All right, so let's get to it and see how we go. I want them to be quite opaque, so we'll just put that in there for now. Let's see how that mixes. Is this going to fit? Yes. Love it when they fit. Oops, that's a bit much. Oh, anyway, it's gone in. All right, let's see how that mixes up. What's that one for? Oh, that's for you. That's for you. All right, let's have a look. I won't stir it over my mold. As you can see, it's four rounds. Um, nice, nice size coasters, 12 centimeters, these ones. And what's that in inches? Um, <laughs> can't remember. Divided by 2.5 and I'll tell you what they are in inches. It is in my eBay store if anyone's interested. Look at that colour and we have got a real shimmer there so I may not need it. may not need that extra one. Now I don't think this one's got quite as much pigment powder in it as the baby blue. I was really undecided about these colours because I was I was going to go with um, like a darker blue, like a more of a cobalt. But I think these two match better together. So I'm doing that. <laughs> and I'm going to kind of do like a kiss pour. You know when you do, um, for those that do acrylic pouring, you know a kiss pour where you pour the two cups together at the same time? Look at that. These Pearl Axes are just amazing. I think I will put a little bit of the macro pearl in there. No, I need a clean spoon. Oh, clean spoon. A clean stick. I don't think it'll change the colour. Hopefully it'll just give it a bit of a shimmer. We'll see. It's new, that one. I only just got it. Let's see if it'll give us the little bit of a shimmer that I'm after. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Just beautiful. Just gives it a hint of like a silvery shimmery color now this one do we have enough pigment in that one i'm just going to put a tiny bit more in because it didn't have as much as that one did now i'll move these out of the way i know i could mix them off camera but you guys like to see what i'm doing hey like to see the whole process from go to woe and of course if you don't if you don't want to watch me mix paint then that's fine you can just you know fast forward and catch up with me later i don't mind I'll never know unless you tell me. I do read the comments. I try to read all of them. Sometimes I can't answer. I just put a little love heart <laughs> to say, love your comment. Thank you. <laughs> but um, yeah, I often can't respond to all of them. All right. But I do appreciate every one of you. So thank you so much for commenting and watching my videos. Now, 
Um, I think I'll just put the sticks out here for a minute. So what we want to do, for those that haven't seen me do the bling coaster, um, I'm just going to basically fill these moulds up um, halfway, I guess, um, and then let them dry, and then we'll come and put the um, glitter on, and then we'll do a top coat. But for now, now this is going to be a little bit tricky because I don't know, like, this has to go to four of them, so... I just have to, I just have to be careful, I guess, that I don't use too much, and then I've got none left for the other one. I better just go easy on them, make sure I've got enough. probably works better like that actually <laughs> getting them close together and then up and down all right here we go and then if I've got some left I can just sort of go and add a bit more if I need to on any of them so where the little join is there you're not going to see it because that's where the silver's going to be silver glitter how those colors matching together do they look pretty all right well that was pretty good pretty proud of myself there let's do a little bit more here just let them both come to the edge of the cup there and you look as if you could do with a little bit more don't you Just use it all up. Hopefully we'll get some pretty patterns with the with the resin. I'm hoping it will kind of move and give some pretty patterns. You know how the resin pulls from the outside in? I'm hoping it'll give us some nice little patterns. I'm spilling. I'm making a bit of a mess, aren't I? Well, this one's starting to do it already. I'll show you in a minute when I get my hand out of the way. This one just needs a little bit more on the edge there. And straighten up that little line like I said it doesn't matter too much really because um, I'm going to be adding the glitter down that center line so you won't actually see the center line you'll just see the the colors either side of it all right that's it done yay now let me just clean my hands Now this is the little effect I was telling you about. See how the along the outside there, the resin's pulling from the outside in? And that's what it does. That's why when you're doing those 3D flowers, that's why you get the your, your line, you know that line that you pipe? It spreads and it gets wider. It's because of the, the resin doing this. And you can actually see it really clearly here, how it's pulling from the outside in. So I'm, I'm hoping that that will all come together. And we'll have this beautiful shimmery kind of stripey look and then i'll put the glitter on the, the center so um yeah I'll, i'm going to give it a quick little torch and then i'll leave it to set up it doesn't have to be like totally set up but it needs to be not sticky so when you put your you know you touch it it's not going to lift up and and be really sticky uh, because you want to be able to put your top layer on and i'm going to be using the polycrylic that i did last time as well just give these bubbles a bit of a torch i'll just use the big one just get, if you're going to use a torch just be really careful that you don't you know get too close or torch too long but look at that look how it's doing that 
So it, it looks like it's two different colours, doesn't it? Because it's much darker here. And then that shimmery look. See, they both got they're both the pearl X, this one. And then I added the pearl X of this one, the macro pearl. So it's giving the same effect. Because I thought it would look a bit strange if half was like shimmery and then the other half wasn't shimmery. So that's why I decided to add it to that baby baby blue so as um, as the resin sits there the bubbles will come up it's a it's a relatively thin resin so the bubbles release pretty quickly they come up and they burst but if you torch every like few minutes now there's a little there's something in there but I really don't want to go I'm just gonna leave it because if I go poking into that little section there I'm gonna disrupt those beautiful stripes it looks like an eyeball, doesn't it? So I'm just going to leave it because I'm going to put a top coat on it anyway and you're not going to see it. So can you imagine what it's going to look like? So half, half, this half light blue. Well, it's kind of more of a green blue, isn't it? It's a greeny blue. And, and then the silver like this down the centre between the two. So I thought... I, this, this blue... I haven't really got like a blue blue. All my blues are either... A light blue like this one or it's more of a purpley blue that was the bluest I could get that's the Larissi holographic shards so we'll see what it looks like but I wanted something darker to go down the center and then the lighter of the silver next to it so hopefully that will work all right um, I'm gonna leave you for a few hours and um, I'll come back and see what it's looking like. I wasn't expecting that to look so green. Hmm. Never mind. We'll see what it looks like when it's done. Let's go down and have a little closer peek. Actually, it looks bluer through your screen than it does mine. Through mine, it yeah, <laughs> definitely looks, looks bluer through your screen. It looks more green through mine. So it is making its way towards the center. I wonder if it'll make it all the way and close up, hey? We shall see. We shall see what it does. I hope so, because I really want that stripey look through the whole the whole coaster. Oh, and I always... I forgot my heart. I always forget my hearts. Never mind. I'm doing coasters. <laughs> if you've got resin left over, you can do your heart, but that doesn't matter. All right. Um, I'll see you then. Look at that. Look, see the holographics? It's really shimmery. So I thought that would look pretty. All right, see you soon. I'm back, it's been a few hours. Now you can touch them. Uh, if I had to push on it, it would make a dent, but they touch dry, so I'm gonna go with the next step. Now, I, I told you I was gonna do blue and silver, but looking at the colors now, Oh, and you can see how they've gone in like that. I forgot because I left you and they were still like in a ring. Hey, but look, look, they've all come in, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. But now that I'm seeing that, the blue, I just don't think that it's going to match. I was actually really wanting like a, and I know it looks blue to you, but it's not. It's more like a teal, this side here. So I'm going to go with these two. This is a Larissi... It's a holographic glitter and it says SLG009 from their website. This one, I just got that on eBay. Not sure where it came from. It was just an eBay store. So I'm going to go with that and this. And then I'm going to go with, I'm going to go again because I really wanted the blue with the dark blue. I'm going to go with these two next. Look at these ones. This little piggy. So I'm going to do that next. And I'll put the silver with the blue glitter so that'll be coming up so we'll just move that out of the way for now but that will be coming up um now to put these on <clears throat> i think last time i just used this little stick with a cotton wool bud on the end so you can use something like that um, a little paintbrush i've also got this it's a little silicone nib thing so that might work well too so i might try all of those and just see which one gives me the best result so i've got two cups one for the silver, one for the tealy colour. It's really pretty. It's got like if 
if you catch it in the light it's got blues and teals and silvers and I think that'll look really pretty with these oh when I was testing my colors you didn't see it I did it off camera I was testing my colors to see what they would look like and I had and I did a couple of test pieces in these and I actually had a little bit left so I just popped them in my heart there <laughs> I forgot I had them um, yeah because I was thinking about using this one but it's a little bit too grayish. So anyway, I just tried a few in here to see what it would look like. So you can either use, I mean, you could use resin if you wanted to. But you're only mixing up a tiny bit. Or you can use this. I'm not going to tip it too much because it's open. This is polycrylic. Um, and it's protective finish, crystal clear finish, ultra fast drying, easy water cleanup clear gloss so you could use that it's it's really quite thin it's like like water don't don't shake the can just give it a stir it's, it's really thin um, or if you wanted to you could use something like this liquid glass by try art it's a little bit thicker it's kind of like a creamy color whereas the polycrylics are white what does it say for this one Dry, smooth and glossy. Use for a clear coat or add colour for colour pores. Clean up with water. I always like it when you can clean up with water. So I think it's very similar. So just whatever you whatever you want to use. Just like a top coat, glossy type thing. Okay. So I've stirred that. Now I really need, I'm just going to grab a little bit of it. And if you've seen me do that one, you'll know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put with a spoon because it's a bit hard to pour out of this. I'll probably make a mess everywhere. So let's just put a couple of spoons in there to begin with. The, I need more of the silver because that's I'm going to do the silver across the center there. And then that one is just going to have a little bit through the middle of the silver. So I don't need quite as much. Um, Oh, I'm not sure because that one can be that can be for the um I'll just put that aside for now let's see how much I need that one can be for this one I haven't actually opened this yet so I just need to get all that down to the bottom and then tear the top I have bought some jars, little jars, and I'm going to put all my glitters into jars because I don't really like them in these plastic bags. So I'm just going to get little jars. All right, now this, oh, that was the big one, wasn't it? This is the little one. I don't want to put too much in there. See, I'd rather, I'd rather add more polycrylic and not, not waste too much of my glitter because you just want to make a paste. Let's see how that goes first. I don't have a stir stick. So I basically just want to make a paste out of it. Now when I did this one here, I used the fine glitter and it gives me nice little points. With this glitter, it's a little bit more chunky. So you don't get those little sharp points. I did one in reds. You might have seen red and gold recently and I used all this and I didn't get the, the little spiky points as much, but it was still really pretty. It was just a different look. All right, let's see how that goes. Now let's do, let's do the silver. Actually, I haven't even opened this one yet either. I should probably close that one up. I don't think I need any more. You want it so that it's runny enough that it's going to move, but not too runny, otherwise, or well, not too thin, I should say. <laughs> Otherwise, um, when you put your little strokes out, um, you can see through it. You don't really want to see through it. You want it thick enough that you don't see through it, if that makes sense. 
So I'm keen to try the little paintbrush. Oh my gosh, there's a bag in a bag. Okay. There's a bag in a bag. Which bag will I use? I'll just put that aside. Now this does seem to be a little bit holographic as well. Look. So you can see all these different colours in it. Tip some of that in there. So I will need more of this. Oh gosh, that didn't do much at all. I need a lot more of that. And you can see how it sort of changed colour because of the polycrylic, but the polycrylic will dry clear. Okay, so still too runny. See, I didn't, I didn't need so much polycrylic. Um, I think I'm, I'm hoping that, like, if you don't use all this, I'm just wondering, like, if you can cover it with something. It would have to be airtight, though, wouldn't it, um, so that you could use it again. See that's see how drippy that is still. So I really didn't need so much polycrylic because it's a very fine little powder almost. This glitter, it's a very fine glitter. Hmm, using a lot of it. Alright, that'll do. That'll do. We'll see how it goes. You can always add more. I don't need, I don't think I need very much. I'm doing four coasters. So basically what I'm going to do is spread it out like I've spread it, that out, but all in silver. And then I'll go across in the center with the other one. You don't have to wait for it to dry. Like on the can it says you can do a second coat in um, two hours. But because I'm putting it on pretty thick, it doesn't dry in two hours. Like sometimes it's still wet the next day and I have to get the hair dryer out and dry it how holographic it is oh my gosh I must have searched holographic glitter on eBay <laughs> all right uh, let's try let's try I'm gonna get a piece of paper towel so I can just wipe up if I need to let's try the paintbrush and see how we go with that hey all right here we go here we go I guess you just need to, what you, what you really need to do, actually I'll probably do this so I don't drip everywhere. You need to just put some across there first, where you want this your centre to be. And then you just sort of pull it out from there. Like, don't put too much on, see how much, you see that's hardly any, I made up way too much, didn't I? Um, so just put that there, and then I'm just going to sort of do this first. Up and down, up and down just to kind of break it up a little bit and see where I want to put it. And then again, I think this is the easiest way. <laughs> you could, you know, pull each little piece individually like this. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just think this is the easy... Oh, I hope my head's not in the way. I'm bending down. So I'm going to have some pieces that are, like, bigger than others, or longer than others, I should say, not bigger than others. Get in there. How's that looking so far? Pretty. Mm, paintbrush seems to be working well. Getting nice little points, aren't I? So you can have a little play with it and see, you know, maybe some points you want a little bit thicker and some you want a little bit thinner. So we will cover up that. You can still sort of see where your colours join there, but <clears throat> once I put the other one on on top um, I think that will disguise that line because I don't want to see that join I just want to see the two different colors with the silver in the middle so I'm trying to go straight hopefully I've gone straight okay <clears throat> I think that's enough I think I think um, let's move on to this one Oh, I don't have another paintbrush. So this is not going to be quite as easy to put on because it's thicker. Um, what can I use? What can I use? Maybe I can use this. 
wonder what that would look like actually let me just try a little bit let me just try I see I was going to put you on fast forward and do the rest but I just want to see how that little silicone stick thing does it's not a brush it's just a I don't know what it is it's just a little silicone I guess we can call it a brush just a little silicone nib thing let's see how that works What do you think? I think both of them. Uh, no. See, this one. This one seems to be having more blobs on the ends. All right, I'll put that aside. I'll stick to the brush. I like the brush. I like the brush. Here we go. I guess because it's softer. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oops, there's a bit of a blob there. I'll have to come back and fix that. So like I said, you can take your time and, and do each piece individually, but I'm just going to just go up and down and up and down with my paintbrush. Now if there's a section that's a bit thick, you can just like take some of it off like that and turn it back into a little point. If you want a bit more, add a bit more through the centre. Because it doesn't matter if you have a bit more in the center because you're going to you know wisp it out all right so that's pretty much symmetrical now i need to just sort of have a few bigger ones longer ones and a few just put a few yeah put a few longer ones in there just to break it up i don't want it too too symmetrical and the paintbrush seems to work well for that How's that? That looks so pretty. Bit of a blob there. Let me take some of that off. Yeah, so I, I think the paintbrush for me works better than that silicone thing, whatever that's called. Okay, so there we go. There's there's two done. Now let's. I'll just wipe this. I'll just wipe it and I'll reuse it for the other one. Hey. Okay. Let me see if you're still with me get worried when you don't answer me I never know if you're with me or not a little bit closer how's that all right now let's try this one now I'm not sure what to do with this I might just yeah, put, do the same as I did before, but just put a little bit through the centre there. See, it's a little, little bit more globby because it's thicker. So I'll just put a little bit because I don't want it to overtake the silver. Just want a little bit on top of the silver. Now it's up to you sort of what colours you want. Um, like I said, initially I was going to do like a dark blue, but because it's got the tealy colour... I just thought this one might look better. So now very, very gently, because I don't want to disrupt my silver underneath too much, just going to blend those two together. And, you know, if you wanted to wait till the bottom layer was dry, you most certainly could. But I actually like the way the two colours kind of blend together. can't actually see it because I've got this bright light shining down. I've got the ring light shining down, so it's really hard for me to actually see. I should, shouldn't do that. It might drip. Imagine if it dripped over there. <gasps> that would be terrible. Let's just spread that a little bit. Let's do a few kind of a little bit wider, I guess, but... Basically, I don't want it to be, you know, as wide as the silver. I want the silver to be wider and then that just in the center there. And then I'll just put a little bit more just down the middle, I think. And then just, again, 
move that out a little bit so that it's darkest in the middle. And again, I can't see, I can't really see what I'm doing because of the glare. These are very shiny. So I want to have the darker teal down the center there. All right, let's try this one. I might have to turn that ring light off so I can actually see what I've done. It's really hard to see. You can probably see better than what I can. So I wonder if there's a way that I can keep this from going off and then, you know, using it again another day. Like I'll, I wanted to use the silver again for my next project. I'm going to do my, my dark blue and my sky blue. So I could possibly do that in a, in a day or two. Okay, just blend that. Now I'll take little bits out a little bit further like I did with the first one. Not too much. Don't want to overtake that silver. And then just put another little bit just through the middle there. Just in case I've broken that teal. Oops, oh my gosh. Oh, that's all right. Just in case I've broken that silver line, I want the teal center. All right. Oh, that's looking so pretty. Come around here and see what I've done. Yeah, I can see more when I'm looking at it this side. It's just so shimmery and holographic and shiny and it's hard to see what I'm what I'm doing. All right, uh, will I do the other two quickly or? Yeah, might as well. I'll just do them. They won't take that long. I need to stir this again. because the glitter's kind of gone down to the bottom. I mean, you could if you wanted to just pour a little bit on, but I think it's just as easy this way, just to dab. That way you don't get too much on. Dib, dib, dob, dob. What's that from? It's from a movie. Dib, dib, dob, dob. Oh, I can't remember. Okay, here we go. It's nice that you've got that center line to work from, actually. I'll give your brush a clean. Go again. Spread it again. So each, each time I'm sort of going a little bit wider, my brush strokes are getting a bit bigger. Wipe that off. Make sure you see a little bit more just there. All right, now I'm going to take, make a few a bit longer again. Just for a little bit of interest. I should stand in front of it, not on the side, so I don't go crooked. <laughs> Try and go straight. It's looking good. Okay. Now with the teal. Hope you guys like my color choices. I'm denied about them, about putting the blue on. And I just didn't feel good about putting that dark blue on. Not with this teal, that teal there. Don't let me forget my hearts, my little heart. Okay, here we go, just spread that a bit. Because that does, because the silver is wet and the teal is wet, they are going to blend. And then we've made this gap down the center. So again, we'll just fill that little gap up again. This is where it's quite thick, so it's not going to be, it's probably not going to be dry by the morning. I'll have to get the hairdryer out and uh, just give it a bit of a helping hand with some warm heat, warm air, warm heat, <laughs> some warm air. All right. Is that so sparkly? These Larissi um, glitters are just amazing. 
But um, I, for me personally, I don't even know. I'll have to find my other one. Where is it? The one that I did with the red, with the chunkier, with this chunky glitter. It just didn't give me the points that I wanted. So I thought, well, next time I'll still do the, the fine glitter for the points and then do the thicker, chunky glitter in the middle. So I'm sort of getting the best of both worlds. You know what I mean? Because I do like the really delicate little points. Right, I'll do you as well while I'm here so I don't forget you. It's a bit tricky going around that little nib. You can turn it into a keyring, pendant, whatever you like. All right, here we go. Last one. Back and forth, back and forth. Just lightly skimming over the top. Okay. And then again, spreading it. Thinning out those little lines. I mean, you could have it as thick or as thin as you want. Mine, mine are pretty thin, really. Add more if you want a little bit more silver, a little bit thicker. But just go slowly to begin with. Don't put too much on, because you can always add to it. It's a little bit more difficult to get it off if you've decided that you've put too much on. So yeah, I do like the paintbrush. It gives me a nice, nice wispy effect. And if you want to thin some out, you just take it off like that, thin it out. Make some longer, some thin, long, shorter. Change up a little bit, just so that they're not all exactly the same. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. And you can take your time fiddling around, you know, depending on what you want to do. I, sometimes I think less is more, like the more you fiddle. Like you don't want to pull too much through, otherwise you're going to lose your little spikes and it'll just be like too thick. All right, let's do, oh, I haven't done, oh, let's do this one. Oh, the little tiny one is hard to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a bit of a clump there. Or, um, we're going to take you away with it's a bit of a bit of a clump there. That'll do. Doesn't have to be perfect, does it? Or does it? Okay, I think that'll do. Put a little bit up there. Okay, just still got lots left. I'll I'll put some. Mm, what can I do? I'll put a glove on it or something. Cover it up. Give it a stir again. Just because your glitter is heavy, it, it can sink. Which one am I up to? This one. <laughs> yeah, it can sink. So just give it a, a bit of a stir up before you use it. I'm sorry if you didn't want to watch me do all four. You can fast forward. And a little bit more. I'll do that one while I'm here as well. Whoop, just a teensy wincy little bit. Don't need too much for you. You're just a little cutie pie. Yes, you are. Won't do much to this one. A little bit around that nib there. Okay, and here we go, just blending those two together a bit, just 
so that we don't have a straight line. You know, I don't want that straight line. And if we just sort of blend <laughs> like that. And like I said, don't overwork it. You don't want that teal covering your, your silver. And then again, just a little bit through the center. Because I don't really want to see too much of the silver through the center. You can see the teal in the middle and then the silver poking out through the sides like so. And I can't see, it's just so glary. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna get you down. I think, I think I'm done. What's that? Did I drop something there? Let's use this. I might have dropped something in there, a bit of glitter. I am going to put a top coat on it so it doesn't really matter if there's a little bit there, like if I've rubbed it. It's a bit there as well. I've obviously gone a little bit carried away when I've done my stripes and I've hit the side. It does not matter. All right, let's get you down. I wonder if I turn that off. Can you see better? Does that help? So now I've got my head in the shadow. Right, let's go down and have a little look. Let's see what it's looking like. Look at that. Look at the shine. Shimmer, shimmer. See, that's what I was looking at. It was just so glary. Oh, oh look at that. Look at the colours, you guys. <gasps> okay, now I can see that I need a little bit more of silver just there. I'm just being picky, aren't I? Oops. Just a bit there. So got lots left. <laughs> so what do you think? Now have I put too much teal on the top? It's a bit hard to know. Oh, I think it's all right. I can still see the silver poking its little head through. And you see the silver's giving us nice little points. Really like that. And then um, the holographic glitter is picking up bits of teal and blue and green. It's really pretty. Love it. What do you think, guys? Do you like the two tones? There's a little heart. There we go. Not as easy to do the little heart, but did him anyway. Alrighty, so I will have to wait, like I said, till tomorrow. There's the other one. And um, I'll get the blow dryer out and dry them. Now, do you think they need to be a little bit wider, like where the resin is wider, or do you think they're good just straight down? You know, like these ones them out a little bit more because of the shape of the mold or just leave them like that I've tried not to make them all the same length you know some of them are longer some are shorter on both sides there I've just tried not just you know just just however it came out just tried not to do it exactly the same just looks more natural I think not as placed I put a little bit more silver just there Oops, I need to stir you. Whoop, wrong stick. Oops, I can't see what I'm picking up. Now, what was the one I wanted to do? This one. To come on this side. It's not till you look at them sort of close up that you think, oh, kind of need a little bit more. Just there. But yeah, you can play around with it until you're happy with your, your design. But yeah, sometimes you can sort of overwork it. I just felt as if I needed a little bit more just there. Mm. 
How's that? Alright. I think that's it. Whoops. Alright, I don't want to go too much over there because then that side won't be balanced. <laughs> All right, there they are. I'm going to leave them. Walk away. It's hard to know when to stop, you guys. Walk away. I think they look beautiful. Do you think that's too much teal down the centre? Hmm, I don't know. I guess we'll find out when it's dry. All right, love it. Um, I'll try and cover these with something and then maybe I can use them again another day. All right, I'll see you in the morning. Hey guys, I'm back. It's the next day. Everything's set up nicely. It's all dry. I didn't actually have to do the hair dryer because it is, um, oh, it's nearly one o'clock in the afternoon. I've been really busy. I've maybe been making molds. So um, I've got some more resin. And what did I mix up? I mixed up. Um, 125 grams of A and 55 grams of B of the same resin. Okay, so here we go. We just it's it's pretty warm. I've had the heater on in the studio today, so it's 20 degrees in the studio. Not too, not too bad. Just gonna pour a little puddle in each. If your resin's really thick and cold, if you're doing a top coat, it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea just to put it in a warm water bath, just the little cup of resin that you've made, just so that it spreads nicely on its own to the edges without you having to sort of push it around with the stick because you may risk loosening your bits of glitter, you know, if they haven't, if they're not stuck down perfectly. I'm just getting a wipe to get that little drip. There we go. All right, so that's kind of spread. This one's got a lot. Let's do the little heart. Don't put too much in at once because the resin will self-level and you don't want it overflowing. So go slow to begin with. I think that one's got enough now. <laughs> this one could have a little bit more. See how it's flowing out to the edges all by itself? I'll just put a little bit more in that one. And this one. So I think I use probably maybe two thirds of the amount of resin for the top coat and a third for the, the first coat. Like I don't do half half. I do a little bit less for the, the first coat only because I take up a little bit of room with the, uh, the glitter and things. So, and then I just have probably two thirds on the top coat. I can tell you exactly. Oh, you've probably forgotten. Uh, the first layer I did 100 grams of A and 45, uh, sorry, 43 grams of B. And then the second coat, 125 and 55. So it's a little bit more than half for the second coat. I'm pretty much out of resin now. I'm just going to stand back and look over the top and see which one needs a little bit more. And they're pretty much doming actually. That was a perfect amount of resin. Now I'm not going to scrape my cup because the resin that's sort of maybe stuck on the sides um, won't be mixed as well. So I'm just going to just drip out what I can and then I'll throw the cup out. I don't want to risk getting any unmixed resin in there. Okay, I think that's it. That looks so pretty. I'm really happy with them. Um, standing back again and having a little look. Yep, that's good. All right, now I'm going to just clean off my stick. It's my, one of my mixing sticks, so I can use him again. Wipe down my bench. I'll bring you down for a bit of a close-up. 
Actually, it's torch. Uh, let's torch. Just torch lightly. Okay, just like so. Uh, like I said, the, this resin <clears throat> is a very good bubble release, especially when the resin's warm like that. The bubbles come up to the surface and they pop all by themselves. So not so easy when your resin's thick and cold on a cold day. But today it's working really well. Oh, I didn't do the heart. Okay, let me get you down. Get this little glove off. Okay. Let's look across the top. See there? See they're nice and domed. So I shouldn't get any lip, but it needs sanding with these. Let's move that tripod out of the way. Really, really shimmery and pretty. Again, through the camera, the this side looks more blue, but it is actually more of a an aqua. I don't know why you can't pick it up. Never pick it up in the in the camera. Don't know why. Maybe there. Can you see there? It's a little bit different. Still looks blue though. All right, um, I have to wait for tomorrow now. I'll unmold them before I go to work and I'm going to paint the edges in silver because that would look amazing. So I'll see you then. Hey everyone, I'm back. It's the next day and the top layer's dry. It's a bit of a process, isn't it? It's three layers. Put your top layer down, or your bottom layer, then you put your glitter, then you put your clear, but hey, it's worth it. Look how gorgeous they are. Let's see if they'll come out. <laughs> Always worried, you know, when you torch with the flame that they're not going to come out, but I'm really careful with it. I don't do very much. Just a very quick little torch. All right, so I've got a little tiny bit of area there that I need to sand not very much at all look at that Let's see if we can pick that up in the the sunshine well not that there's much sun yet this morning it's early I'm doing this before work you can just see that sort of pale aqua glitter through there hey it matches nicely with this well it's looking blue in there but oh I wish I could show you the correct color how do I show it to you? I don't know. Um, let me get my little sander. If anyone out there knows how to change your settings so that you can actually see true colour, let me know. I've tried. I can't do it. Maybe it's it's just one of these colours that doesn't show up, hey? Right, that's my little emery board there. And I'm just going to go over the very edge there all the way around doesn't need much you can feel there that it's nice and smooth now try not to touch the top of your coaster because you know I only poured it yesterday so it's not going to be set yet I mean it feels hard and it's it's set but you just got to be careful you don't want to leave too many marks on it I'm just doing it over here so I don't get dust all over those what am I up to there? Now, when you sand like this, it does leave um, like a bit of a a white edge, I guess, because you've you've sanded. But I'm going to be I'm going to be covering it with silver anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's go all the way around. I think that's it now. I think I've done a, a loop. Oh, no, that feels a bit... I haven't done that bit. You can feel where it's rough and where you haven't done yet. Or maybe needs a little bit more. There's no point putting your edging on if you've got a, a rough edge. Just feel a little, a little bit of a rough edge still there. Oh, I bought myself a new um, little Dremel thing. 
I haven't even opened the box yet. I just remembered about it. Let me grab it. I have not even opened the box yet. That's it there. Variable speed rotary detail carver. Let's have a look. Hey, I know I'm getting distracted here. Hey, but um, yeah, I haven't even. Oh, look at that! My gosh, lots of little pieces. That's great. What else is in here? Oh, little ones with sandpaper on them. <coughs> oh, look at it. It's so cute. Just a little one. <coughs> That's what I wanted, you know, just for in here rather than having, because I've got a big one and it's outside on the deck. Um, I'll leave it plugged in there. I guess that's where you plug it in and then it's got this little dial here. I guess that's fast or slow. And that must be to open this bit up so that you can put your tips in. What else is in here? Oh, there's another plastic little container. Oh my gosh, more! Jeez! Jeez Louise! Lots of bits! Instructions and oh, power cord! Yay! Okay, look at that. Oh, that's good because I've actually got a um a PowerPoint just underneath my table here. Oh, perfect. Shall I plug it in real quick? Hang on. I plugged it in. It hasn't got a very long cord on it. So this thing here turns it on as well. So I, as soon as I plugged it in, it started going. Woo! And then you turn that and it gets fast. Oh, look at that. And then all the way down, click and off. If I can put something in there, I'm getting very distracted on today's unmolding, aren't I? How do you open it? Oh, I like that. Right. Um, which one? Which one? Let's do this one. A little medium sized one. Now, I think what you have to do is you have to press, press that, and undo undo this turn it round and the little hole gets bigger in there until it's big enough to to put that in oh look at that mm, I'll go all the way and then tighten it again the other way julie I don't know which way am i going <laughs> oh my gosh i'm not very good at mechanical things My husband will be laughing at me at the moment. Going, you're doing it the wrong way. <laughs> How do I tighten it? Okay, that just sits in there like that. Maybe I need to do that again. Push that. I think I was doing it the wrong way. Oh, there we go. No. <laughs> Lucy goosey <clears throat> left Lucy goosey all right anyway there we go oh my gosh all right let's try I've, so I've got that set up and it's nice and tight all right let's try this one hey let's see how it works not that there's much to sand a little bit there all right let's try it oh I'm excited to try it I'm just gonna put it on low I always like to put the like, I don't do it upside down like that. I put it like that. All right, let's have a little look. Now, I'm going to watch what I'm doing rather than watch through the screen. Ooh, I think we need a little bit more speed, I think. Oh, that feels nice and smooth. Just very, very lightly over the top. got this little gadget on um, eBay <laughs> as I do with all my things. <clears throat> I think I just searched, um, oh look there's a big blob there, let's see how it goes with that, this big blob. I think I just searched um, 
nail file, electric nail file. Oh, actually, that's a bit of glitter. I think, yeah, I think I just searched the electric nail file. And that came up. Oh, love it! Now this is a stone, it's a stone little piece. But if you wanted to use the sandpaper, you could just put the sandpaper piece on. It just depends on sort of how thick. Let's get that little blob off there. It's nice and easy to use. Easy to control. Beautiful! Oh, that was fun! Alright. Now yeah, that's nice and smooth. Oh, I missed a little tiny. Actually, I missed a tiny bit there. Missed a bit. Missed a bit. I can stay plugged in under my table because so I've got a shelf under my table and I put a PowerPoint up there. Um, I just put a power cord from underneath the table and set it up with a power board on the shelf below. So I've got um, all kinds of things plugged in there. I've got my heat gun and my hair dryer and all kinds of things plugged in under there. So it's very handy. Right now, after we've done all that, um, deco color. Silver. Of course, there can't be any other colour choice, can there? Just give that a push, make sure the colour's coming down. All right, here we go. Nice little thin edge. It's looking a bit scruffy, that tip, isn't it? I might have to trim it. I just trim it up with a pair of scissors if I need to. Actually, let's do that. I'm getting very distracted today, aren't I? <clears throat> One job to another. When they get a bit sort of fluffy, I just trim them up a bit. And there's little bits hanging off it, you know. All right, here we go. Now I just want a little, little thin edge. Here we go. Try and keep the same pressure <clears throat> as you're going round so that you've got the same thickness. You can always go again over the top if you want to make it a little bit wider. So that it's the same. Oh, look! Oh, it's so pretty. Just finishes it off, doesn't it? And, um, you know, you can obviously do the side. I'm not going to do it at the moment. But um, you can do the side as well. Oh, it's so pretty. Let's do this one too. And then I've got to go and get ready for work, unfortunately. go just take your time concentrate it's not ideal to make a mistake because you have to use um, these are actually oil based these um, alcohol doesn't really get them off um, nail polish remover is better but it'll it'll like leave a mark on on your resin whoops you can wipe it off real quick if you if you just do it, but it dries pretty quickly and it's really hard to get off. People say, do you seal the edges? Uh, no, I don't need to. It stays on really well on its own. Here we go, there's two done. I haven't even unmolded the others yet. 
I'm carried away. Well, they're all the same, aren't they? Let's put that away. Getting very distracted today with my new little nail file. And my silver edging. So it's a nice size, it's a nice thickness coaster. It's um, six millimeters. Last one. And let me get, actually, let me get this little heart out. Get under there. Out you come, out you come. There we go. Oh, a little bit of glitter gone over the hole there. Pick it out. Anyway, there's the little heart. Put some glitter up the edges. Not so easy to do little tiny pieces, but it still looks really pretty, hey? Did I show you this one? Got a bit of sanding to do on that one as well. Nice and shimmery. All right, so you can see the difference. This one, this one I did um, the other week, and you can see the the size of the glitter. That's the holographic um, glitter shards. It still looks really pretty. It's just chunkier. And then that's the gold with the other one. That's just the gold glitter. And that's the gold shards. It gives you a different look. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I'll put a picture. I'll take a photo. I'll have to do it when I get home from work now. And um, I'll put it up for you so that you can see the finished product. And I'll I'll change the um, the colour so that you can actually see the aqua rather than just blue and blue. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Love you all. Stay safe. I've got to go and get ready for work. <laughs> I'll see you for the next video. Okay, bye for now.